Apfel Doctor Germany, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show on this beautiful Saturday morning. And today in the morning we're doing together an iPhone X bottom board swap. Why we do that? Because we had a hardly bent iPhone X. The board is completely bent and because of the bend um, we got some ripped off pads on the top, uh, on the top layer. I already jumpered them just a minute before. And um, after jumpering, I just thought, okay, we, c we could do a video about that. So here you can see what I have done. Just uh, three little jumpers here, here, and here. Um, this was, uh, these was important pads. Here we only got a crown pad. We don't need uh, to jump at that. And here we got some missing pads too, but they are all crowned. So it's, um, it's not, not necessary. Um, to do jumpers here because we have enough ground pads on the iPhone X so um, we don't need to do that. I already cleaned um, the pads here is a NC pad missing no problem too so the only pads which were important were D3 just uh, three micro, micro jumpers fast job and um, and done okay so now why do we swap the bottom layer um, the problem on the bottom layer here is that it's hardly bent, and even if we would, uh, even if we would change um, the middle frame here, you see the bend. Even if we would change the middle frame, um, the board would be bent anyway. So with that board, we don't have any touch any. Uh, we don't have touch anymore. So I prepared another bottom board. Here you can see that. I already took out the NFC, the baseband CPU, and um, the Wi Fi module. These are the parts we need to take out if we swap, or to do which we need to swap if we swap the bottom board. So, um, and what, uh, important, what is important too is the baseband EEPROM. Um, but I want to try to, to get the data of the EEPROM by using uh, the JC programmer. So we will see if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, we just take over um, the EEPROM 2, okay? So in that case, we have to start by just, just getting in the board here. So that's the old board. And for the old board, we need the baseband EEPROM, the NFC chip, the baseband CPU, and the Wi Fi module. These are the important parts we need to swap. So we got a fully working device later um, with um, Wi Fi, with NFC, and uh, with the mobile network. And um, so. Um, mobile uh, so we can use it as a mobile okay sorry my english isn't the best um, there are some uh, things in german upcoming so for the german followers um, you can can be happy because i will give you some new stuff within the next weeks and um, it will be very nice i think So because every day people write me from Germany or German language, German speaking people, why, uh, why there aren't any more videos in German and are there any videos upcoming? And the answer is always the same. I did really, really much videos in German speech um, over the last years. And at the point I just, uh, I just saw that English speaking people want to see that stuff too so I swapped the language and I really love it because the the English followers are, are just I love you I really love you my followers from Brazil from Iran from the USA from England United Kingdom from India there are there's so much love international and um, but I want to give the 
the German viewers some new stuff too. So at the moment we we're just working on something which will be very nice. Okay. So at first we have to clean the underfill to get out them parts. If there is a capacitor loose like here, it's not a problem. So, and now we just can take out parts we need. Now here is a, a little bit of glue on the side next to that coil here. Okay. And now we can take out I thought about um, doing a complete complete other um, complete other art of, of videos for, for YouTube or swap to in, to another um, to another platform or to just change something because I have some things in my head which I want which I want to do and I think it will be very nice okay okay so we got that now we need to take out the NFC okay so now we are done i just want to take a photo okay so um the next thing i do here is i just take the the eprom out it's a fast thing on the X. So it's okay to take the baseband EPROM out. Okay. Okay, and now we take the EEPROM of the of our old board and swap it to the new board. Here I already take out the NFC, the baseband CPU, and the Wi-Fi module. flux on here and we take out the baseband EEPROM
place the EEPROM. And wait until it moves to its position. So it's done. Yeah, it sits nice. Now we can just just clean. So we first thing we have here is the baseband EEPROM. That's nice. You are already cleaned the board for sitting in. Um, the ICs we need. So, we just need to clean baseband CPU and Wi-Fi module and NFC and just re them. And after that, we just get them to a new board. By the way, within the next year, we move with the company to a new place, much bigger, complete new, and I'm really excited about that. So there will be some some big changes and uh, we have some new really big partners for which we work and yeah over the last 10 years I spent so much time to to realize that so I'm very proud and happy to give you some really great news within the next weeks and months. Okay, now we just take some solder and our solder wick. But you see my solder iron doesn't want to make the job. I have to, to buy new, new irons. So now it's better. New tips, sorry, new tips. So what I love on, on my followers, English speaking followers, is that they really spend so much love and you get something back for that what you do here. And for me that's just really a big point. If I, if I see that, that people are, are thankful for that what you do every day because it's really, really hard work. To, to do video every day because in the time you do a video you can just do two normal repairs so I, I come on, on, on Saturday earlier just to do a video for you and really that's the only case I come I come earlier to the company to just give you a video and because the last days there were some some basic stuff videos I just I just um, said okay we can we can do video here next time I can show you if you want how to to jump a missing pads on the top layer I have some nice techniques for that Just cleaned the Wi-Fi module. And now the NFC. And that's the reason why I love this WL single shaft tool here, BGA holder. You see that's the NFC and it's a small chip and you can even fix it with that um, with that single shaft holder. So that's nice.
Okay, we have cleaned all the all the ICs, which we need to rebore. Just want to take a photo on my hand. <coughs> and now we can just do some rebolts. And then we can get the ICs directly directly onto the board. Just need to get some paste here. In that case I use the Kelly Shun 183. You can use PPD 183 too. It's just a good paste. to get the right stencil here. I think that here should be okay. I love to use the gold stencils. Andy, my worker and best friend Andy, I think he's coming in some minutes here and he always liked to use the black stencils. And I told him, Andy, just use, just use one time the gold ones. And he always said, no, 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 no. I only work with my black stencils because I just love them and they are great. And he doesn't want to test. So last week he did a CPU for a 9 on an iPhone SE. And I said, here, take the gold stencil, just one time, please. And he said, no, I want to take the black one. And I said, please do me the favor, just test it one time, one time. If you don't like it, don't like it, it's okay. And after he used, he said to me, Ben, they are amazing. And I said, yes, I told you. I told you that they are really good, just sometimes don't don't think the old the old things are better just try something new i i'm i'm the same as andy i i work with with tools i i work with for a long time and often if if new things are coming i i only say no no i i would stay at my old at my old um hardware but sometimes new things are really good. Sometimes not, but sometimes yes. And in that case, I can tell you the, the gold stencils are really gold. They are just nice, really. So, one short reflow with flux. Okay, done. Waiting a short time. Okay, you see, reball is okay. Just clean. In the baseband CPU, fresh rebolt. There is no magic behind works like that. You just have to work on your skills every day and you can reach every level you want. But you have to work hard for that. That's a, a thing I always tell our students when they come here you can reach everything you want everything but you have to work hard on that and use a lot of time and then everything will work fine at the point 
and we had many students uh, in 2019 here and I think it was a great year and if I have a look at the uh, WhatsApp group of our Bottle Level Repair School Germany and I see how people get better and just um, work on their skills I'm just very proud to um, to have them here for teaching because all of them have learned really really much and are now at a level where they can solve 90 percent of all the basic repairs and more they can do not only audio ic and touch ic they are really really working hard for doing big jobs even the uh, iPhone X or things like that and I'm just proud that they could learn a lot here and that's one of the reasons why I why I do these um, these bottle level repair school weekends back in the days I remember that I said in some German videos I never will teach for no money in the whole world but people change with time and at the time I started with that micro soldering works it's a long time ago and nobody did it here in Germany and or only some people did it here in Germany I don't want to say that I'm the first on the world who did micro soldering jobs it's just not right but um, so in the start I I had not the possibility like people today t to learn from from others I had to had to use my own head and so I made one mistake and always uh, thought no I will never teach people something because um, this knowledge and this work is is um, it's too big to get it away to others but today I have to say that the whole the whole scene the whole micro soldering th uh, scene has just changed in a completely different way and it's just just nice to see how people connect with each other help each other and just getting better because we are so many people who are doing these jobs and even if we we help each other we can reach something really big so in countries like uh, like Brazil or USA the scene is much bigger than here and they just love each other help each other and um, don't talk bad words about others who are doing the same and here in Germany um, it's at the moment just a little bit different I hope it will will come like in USA or like in Brazil or like in Iran or Iraq and I'm pretty sure it will it will come in that way but in Germany there is something which we call German night culture and that is that people don't want to see others working at the same level or at a higher level or working at the same points okay and that's just uh, sad because we are all humans and we can all learn and we all want to learn that's a thing humans have in their in their head they want they want to learn they want to do things better and that's the cause why I think that we should help each other Okay, and that's one of the reasons why I do these videos. So, okay, we just prepared the swap board, we prepared the Wi Fi module, we prepared the baseband CPU, and we prepared the NFC. So, here you can see we prepared all. Now I just want to take a picture.
we have changed the baseband EEPROM2. So now we can just start by soldering down. And I want to start by, by, let me have a look, by the NFC. I want to start by the NFC. Just have to look for the point here. Ah, come on. So the point is here. A1 is at the bottom si at the left bottom side from my view. Just a little bit of flux under the IC. Push a little bit, and then. We can just solder down by using the right nozzle. And the right temperature. Okay, that's done. Now we want to get in the baseband CPU. So the board is already preheated because I worked on the NFC. <coughs> so baseband CPU, I need to have a look for pin A1. It's on the left top from my view. Just place that and then solder it down. You see it's done and now the board is hot we can just use some flux here get it in I think here is a small point of dirt move it away take your Wi-Fi module just get it in and solder it down. <laughs> yeah, over the last year our team was getting stronger and stronger. We have Andy which is doing really, really, really high level skill repairs like flex cable repairs La three layers in a flex cable uh, or two layers in a flex cable like ever he, he does the job um, we have great theory monster Ilya he is just amazing guy from MacBooks and for the whole theory block diagrams and schematics and things like that Jeez, he's just a brain then we have my brother David, who does the whole normal repairs like screen repairs and batteries and all the components. And then we have Peter and Dennis, um, who are doing the, um, the solder works on our, on our product lines like the, the ICC. And yeah, I think we we just getting stronger and stronger.
and I'm really proud of that. Just want to kick on the, the Wi-Fi. I couldn't do it because it was laying on the bottom without the BGA holder. But now you see, it's done. Yeah, it's done. It's okay. So now we can just do the reball of the bottom half. Now we can just do the reball of the bottom half. And I want to do that by using the new Quan Li middle layer reballing platform. Because I th that's one new thing in here. I I made a video about that some days ago where I introduced this new product and I didn't get any money for that because some people say that I only do things for money, that's just not right. So here we take the middle layer reballing platform. take the board and I take this here and I need to take the right stencil for the iPhone X just clean it one time heat sink Okay, so please have a look at this. I think it looks really, really good. What about that? Do we have some... Yeah, we have some solder in here. I saw it. Just want to move it away. Just take some some wick. I don't know from where it comes but it was here so we just need to clean it at this point and getting the stencil in again now it looks much better and okay like you see stencil sits but on some points I see some solder, I don't know why, here. So I just clean that for a better result, good morning. Why are you so wet? Do you have wet hairs? Yeah, a little. Ah, you was, was out and it was rainy? No, it was raining in the shower. Ah, it was, <laughs> okay. I thought it's raining again outside. Oh, thank God, no. So, why the solar just doesn't want to come off here? It's because of my hardly damaged tip. So, okay. Okay, now it's, it's okay. There was some some solder here and we want to do this in a clean in a clean way here's some solder too really bad I just didn't see it before but no problem Okay, so now I just clean it here and we can get on the stencil. And let's see again. Now it looks fine, I think. <coughs> and we can just get in some solder paste here. 
and you can have a look how this new rebowling platform works and if you like it or not. Okay, just using a wipe to clean. And that's a really nice feature of this reboiling platform, this tool here between the SIM module and the stencil. So now we can just plug on the magnetic um, Gesundheit. Um, the magnetic part. Of the stencil. And then we can do just a rebore by using the hot air. And we don't need to use tweezers. Let's see if this works. I already did it before in a video where I introduced you that tool and I did it sometimes again after this video with that rebolling platform and it just worked great. So let's see if it works again. One hundred eighty three needs a little bit more time to melt, but it's the better solution for using on the X. No low melt. So now we go over this area. And you saw without, even without any problems, you can just do reball of an iPhone export without using tweezers. I never thought before that things like this can really work. But um, as you see, it works and it looks good. So we lift up the stencil, comes off, com it comes off completely. You see, I used the heat insulation, heat sink in the middle of the board. Now we just get on some flux here. And doing a short and quick reflow to reset them both.
so let them both reset everywhere and you see we got a nice rebo looks good okay now we can take out the heatsink take out our sim protection too really nice and we can clean we can clean the board by using a brush push slightly on the board and you see it's it's nice okay now we can just um, solder the board <coughs> back together with the t uh, with the top layer where I did some jumpers on show you the jumpers again there were three ripped off pads which were important on the top layer I just set micro jumpers to that and now we can just put on the preheater and getting on some flux flux everywhere around the board what do I see here do you see, see here a little tiny piece of solar ball good morning, good morning. so one time flux all over the board here Andy you can see I did some micro jumpers for three ripped off pads on the export only three not like you last time 20 <laughs> but with uh, with the tip it was really nice to do yeah. right station is on so we just wait a short time until the preheater gets some temperature and the flux melts and then we can just place the top layer board I think this should look good Again, I have to to move a little bit. It wasn't perfect. So now <coughs> we just set the preheater to 180 degrees. A little bit of space we need on the space. A little bit of space on the place and then we just wait until the preheater has reached the right temperature you see I work with the old form for the PPD 120 because I just love that and I have a lot of other tools and preheaters for the iPhone X here but I just love that one
Okay. Just need to take a look if the board sits straight. But looks good. Okay, and I just do the same as always. I help a little bit by taking the hot air and not only solder it down by using the preheater. Something isn't as good as I take it normally because the board goes up and down. I hope there won't be any problems. Otherwise I have to do it again. Just plop off. Came off again here. Come, go down, baby. Waiting a short time. good that's good too but what about this side here I think it's it is okay, but I want to to see it again. What's happening if I just flow a little bit here at the side? Because I saw it came off a little bit, and I want to see why. Perhaps just a plop of flux, because I used a little bit more than I use normally. But it doesn't look like dirt between the board halves, so it looks good. It looks good. Putting off the preheater and just waiting a short time. Sein Nieser, nein, es war ein Pusten, glaube ich. I took a board out of uh, the preheater like this. I didn't. I just uh, didn't want to wait, and it fell down, and I could do it again. Okay. Having a look if it's okay. The 
this looks good. Other side. Here where here was the problem I saw. And I hope it has gone down here. Because if not, I have to see why. Was there some and you see that here? I think perhaps there was some dirt here. But we have to test now. Okay, let me see. Because I think in that area it's just not perfect and I do really much of these iPhone X. See here. Perhaps because the board was hardly bent before. I just want to do a test run. Okay. All the other things I can change later. That's not a problem at all. Uh, put. Okay. Okay, it looks like a boot. So, I just want to give you on hands and I need a screen for that iPhone X. Screen, are you in right? I hope. Don't know if the touch FPC sits right here. I hope we will see now. Waiting for an apple. <coughs> because I saw a boot. I saw a boot on the value but I don't know if the FPC okay I think there is some dirt here yeah can't work in that way just need to clean here where are the tweezers here okay Again, check for boot. Okay. I just want to take it off again because I see boot, but it's not perfect for me to see to see that area at the top left and I want to check why we have not perfectly connected the board here and you see even I have to do things twice But that's okay, I think. Or not, Andy. Sometimes you have to do things twice. No matter to, to waste the video. Or things like that. Okay, just wait a short time. And you hear that, I think something it's in even it's uh, a little bit of contact cleaner or dirt but normally the, the contact cleaner flew away just a short time and we will 
separate this. One hundred eighty three is really strong. Okay. And now we just control why we had no one hundred percent perfect connection between the boards. There must be some dirt or things like that. And here you see. Here you see, here was dirt, point of dirt, so it can't work, a point of dirt, so it can't work, always control twice what you do, that is what you can learn on that video. Take off the solder completely. Take off the solder completely in all the areas. Okay. And now let's have a look for the top layer. Jumper area is good. Okay. We just take off the solder here too. Today you have to open the shop at 10, Andy, because David isn't here. He's not coming? David is on a, on a festival today. On a beer festival. Andy wanted to go there too? <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> No, it's not, uh, not, 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 not nice there, I think. Well, what do you say, Andy? I wouldn't go there too. Oh, now I just forgot that I have some jumpers there and I'm uh, going with the wick over that so perhaps you are lucky and can see how I have to do them again and perhaps I'm lucky and don't have to do it again so we will see
is my brush. Clean. Do you see that my iron is just really bad? My tip, my solar tip. Because it just give enough it just give not enough heat. I have to buy a new one. But I think in, in that case we just have a longer video, so it's cool. <laughs> Not always these five minute videos. another solder tip for me because I can't use that anymore. A big one. I tried with that one time but I think yeah yeah that would be great. No no you have for anti 115 it uh, just doesn't match for my for my um for my JBC Okay, I think this works better than mine. You see, if you have a right solder tip, working like that is no problem. Now we have a look for the jumpers. Two of them are here, one of them not. Not a problem at all, we just replace that one. But I have to do it in the forum, otherwise it won't work. Just the BGA holder. Then we just move away solar mask here. Come on to me, baby. Okay. It's on. Or not.
so now we can just move it a little bit here and a little bit here okay Then we use a little bit of solder mask only here at the side and the UV light and jumpers are done. Now we just check by the socket if the board is fine, if the bottom layer board is fine, but I think yes. So it's the X. We could use the new one, I think. Okay. No, with the new one we can't test for touch. And I want to test for touch too. Tension cable. I'll give you one hand so you can see something. Normally, we would be already done. But the board just didn't want it to connect in the right way. So we just have to, to check if the board is good. Uh, looks like, like a boot. You can see. So it was just a bad reball or a bad connection between the boards, whatever. I don't say it was a bad reball, it was just some dirt between the board halves and so the board just didn't sit down. You see the touch is working, that's not a problem at all. So we can do just the reball again. The jumpers are there where they should be. Here we have the jumpers. Here we have the jumpers. So we will just, good morning, we will just Clean it here a little bit. <coughs> Kyle was southing yesterday in the evening. Good morning. So now we can just rebolt the board and getting it back together. Do we want to see that or didn't you want don't you want to see that because you saw the device works? It was just Reboot error. Okay. Do it now with my old stencil, not because it don't works with the new one. It works. It just was some dirt. But I want to to use it now. <coughs> Why not? Okay. You saw already in the videos before that the new Quan Li stencil is just great. But I think in that case perhaps I'm just a little bit faster if I use that now. And time is money. So 
I do it in that way 183 paste I use PPD 183 for that because I do it always and it normally works But what we could try is <coughs> get this in here. Why not? <laughs> so we have the, the same function on this stencil like on the other, but here we have to hold by using the tweezers and the other Quan Lee stencil, which is really amazing you don't have to use tweezers so it's just a little bit easier if you are starting with that okay we just take a wipe clean the stencil having a look that we have the same amount of paste everywhere we can take out this but that that helped a little bit really nice Okay, now we just take our tweezers. I have to take a look where they are. Here. A nozzle and we just do the same game again. That is what you have to see if you get some dirt between the board halves when you, when you connect them, when you solder them down. <coughs> when something like this happens you have to do it again and it just takes time it's just a time factor So now you can compare the times between using the Quan Lee stencil and the Gilon stencil. They are both great. I love this stencil here too. But I love this new Quan Lee too because it's just great and easy to work with. Here you have to, to use some more hand skill. because it's not as easy with the tweezers as just by using a magnetic tool on the top and just flowing with the air over the over the board so here you get always the thing when you use 183 that you have to take a look for the bend of the stencil and even if you you see you got a little bend just have to move the air away a short time and then go further but don't think that this stencil is much better than the other or that something didn't work because of using the Quan Lee stencil, that's not the point. It was really just some dirt between the halves and um, that can happen every time. 
okay it's done just the same like before using some flux and after that just a quick reflow of the whole board to reset them both Okay, done. Wait a short time for pulling down and then we can just place the top layer board again to the bottom layer board. I just want to control if there is no dirt at any point and all is fine. So here we can just scrape away the solar mask. But I don't see any any points of dirt or something which could solve a wrong kind wrong connection. Title, how was it yesterday? Do you have headache today? It's the coffee heute. So okay, I think the board is clean. Jumper pads are good. It's all nice. We take the heat insulation off, the board out and just clean the whole board one time okay now we get it into our preheater with a wipe and then use some flux okay now we just place top layer board it is straight or not straight yeah it's straight okay think it looks good and now we just check it again put the temperature up to 180 degrees <coughs> wait until the temperature is reached and then just use a little bit of hot air to help now it should work. Waiting for the reaching of the temperature. 
and then we help. Almost reached, so Help with a little bit of hot air. And it's going flat here and flat here. So the problem before was just a little bit of dirt between the halves. Remember I saw it on soldering down. I said it's jumping and bubbling and that's just not normal but I wanted to see and to test okay I think we are done just move and see and it looks flat waiting a short time I don't want to take it out now and then it falls down and um, we are fucked up. Andy, this photos. Can you show me the photo, please? No? Okay. I just wanted to show into the camera what you are doing. That's the only thing. But it's a secret. Okay. Okay, put it here. Well, can put it here. I just wanted to go down through the microscope, but wait a short time for cooling down. And now we go under the microscope. Having a look. Okay, here it was flat before too. In this area here too but here we got a problem and you see now we are well connected here okay At this area the problem was just need to go a little bit more up now you see we are flat here well connected Yeah, you see well connected everywhere on the bottom side too and here too this looks looks much better than before so we can take a screen have to clean the FPCs later then put on the ambient light sensor so we can see something on the screen then we just have to put on the power plug and boom we are back to life again with our iPhone X after bottom board swap and I had to re the bottom layer board twice because after the first time re it was a great result for re but I had some dirt between, between the board halves and on soldering down on soldering down the board halves I just um, got some dirt between and the board lifted up and didn't connect right so um, so you saw how I did another jumper and I think it's all fine. I just uh, will clean the whole board, renew the clue stickers. I just put it out now 
and um, then I do a complete functionality test. I mount the device again and it goes back up to the customer. I hope you liked the video um, instead of I did um, the board rebolt twice. One time with the Quan Li middle layer reboling platform, one time with the Gelon stencil. Both um, those tools are great. If you want to learn to, uh, things like that easily, you can do that on the board level repair school Germany. And if you are working at a smartphone re or tablet repair industry, you can easily join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair School Germany. I'm out. I wish you a nice weekend. Boom! Back to life again. Yes, Ben.